Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with me, Chris, the Wellbeing PT. Now, this week I wanted to talk a little about calorie counting. Some of you that have a good memory might remember I've already actually done a video on calorie counting in the past, but I wanted to follow up that video with another video on calorie counting, because why not? The reason I feel it's necessary to do another video on this topic is simply because I get a lot of questions about calorie counting and it can get a little confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna start off by giving you a brief overview of calorie counting. I'm gonna highlight the benefits of doing so and then I'm gonna talk through who I would personally recommend use this tool and who should potentially stay away from it. So briefly, there is no doubt that calorie counting can be an excellent tool that you can use to bring about changes in your health and fitness. As the term suggests, all that's involved is tracking your daily nutrition. And this is often done with a set calorie target in mind. The reason we may want to hit a certain target each day is that this may help us either lose weight, maintain weight, or gain weight, depending on your goal. Generally speaking, if your goal is to either lose weight or gain weight, I would certainly recommend using calorie counting. The reason I recommend it is because it ensures that we're consuming the right amount of calories day to day in order to help us attain our goal. If you don't track your calories, then it's less likely you're gonna be consuming the right number of calories consistently over a period of time in order for you to make the progress that you desire. Another benefit about counting calories is that you develop a better understanding and knowledge about the nutritional values of certain foods. There may be some meals and snacks that you have fairly regularly that you don't realize are actually either quite high or low in calories. But by tracking these foods, your knowledge about the calorie content or the nutritional value of certain foods will improve. Okay, so there are some really good positive things that can come from calorie tracking. What about some negative things? The first thing I would say is that calorie tracking is very boring and mundane and difficult to do on a consistent basis as a result. Nobody wants to have to track their calories for a long period of time. And I personally don't think, firstly, it's sustainable, and secondly, it cultivates a good relationship with nutrition. And it's for that reason that I recommend that people calorie count for short periods of time. This way it's much more sustainable and also it reduces the chances of it becoming an obsessive behavior. And that leads us on nicely to my next point. If you cast your mind back a few weeks, I did a video on disordered eating. Disordered eating behaviors are these unhealthy behaviors that are actually detrimental to our physical and mental health and well-being. If someone really struggles with disordered eating behaviors, I personally would not recommend they use calorie counting because it's likely going to feed into these behaviors and make things worse in the long run. In these individuals, calorie counting has the potential to become an obsessive behavior and that is obviously something we want to avoid. Additionally, we talked about that calorie target. If this individual misses their target quite substantially or blows past that target, there's a potential that that's gonna to lead to feelings of guilt and shame, which again is obviously something we want to avoid. In the cases of disordered eating, I would highly recommend working on your relationship with yourself first. And this may mean going to seek out professional help. By identifying the underlying causes and working on those things, in time you will cultivate a much better relationship with yourself, with your own body, and with your nutrition. And once you get to that stage, then perhaps you may feel in a better position to count calories. Thanks very much for joining me today. I trust this was of use. If you have any more questions about calorie counting, if there's anything more I can help with, make sure you get in contact with me. You can either leave me a comment below or if you want to speak to me more privately, then message me on Instagram. If you want to learn more about physical training, mental health, self-care, nutrition, mindset, and much more, then consider subscribing to my channels and go and check out my other videos. Thanks once again, have a wonderful week and I will catch you next time.